Hello, my name is Anil Mahadev and I'm going to be showing you how easy it is to uh, uh, create your own .NET uh, application using DB2 as the uh, database. So without further ado, let us begin by uh, creating a new project in Visual Studio. Click on File New, New Project. For the purpose of this demo, I'll be uh, using Visual C Sharp. You can use Visual Basic. It doesn't make uh, much of a difference. So we're going to be creating a Windows application. So just let's give it a name. DB2 Windows App. Click on OK. Right. Now the first thing you'll notice is that uh, you will need to uh, navigate to the uh, toolbox. So expand that. Now just as you would be working with any other uh, database vendor, you can just drag and drop a data grid view onto the form. And here we are going to uh, choose a new uh, data source. So for this, click on Add Project Data Source. Now there are three options that are uh, available to you. We'll be choosing the database option. Now let us go ahead and create a new connection for this. And just to inform you that this is DB2 uh, version uh, 9.1 uh, with FixPack 4. You can download the latest edition uh, of DB2 9.5 from the IBM's website. So let me just give my username and password. For this I'll be using the sample uh, database that I created after installing DB2. Let's go ahead and test the connection. As you can see the connection has succeeded. So let's click on OK. Now, this is one option where you would want to include sensitive information such as your username and password. This is not recommended during uh, production environments, but since if you are working on a dev instance, you can choose this. So click on next. Now here, it would uh, save the uh, uh, connection string information into the app.config file that will be created once this uh, this connection is ready. So now we are now presented to the uh, database objects up, uh, uh, section. Now here I'm just going to uh, choose the customer uh, table and click on finish. So right now we have our our data that is to be uh, displayed our table onto the form so let's go ahead and run this now you see all the data has been displayed onto the form without writing a single line of code so this was just a, an introduction and before I um, uh, I move on to the next section of videos, let me show you how easy it is to get the data for both reading and writing onto your uh, particular table. To do this, click on View, click on the Data in the menu, and and choose Show Data Sources. Now, as you can see, already the uh, data set has been generated for this. Now there are two forms. One is the data grid view and one is the details view. Now the data grid view is mainly used for uh, displaying the data onto your form. And if you want to insert new values, you can use the details view. Now drag and drop that. It will automatically generate the uh, requisite controls needed to insert the values into your table. So now let us go ahead and run this. As you can see we have a nice looking uh, navigation pane. 
So let's go ahead and insert some, some value. Here, let's say 1007. And let me just go ahead and copy paste this to save us time. Can just make a small minute change at the customer ID, change it to 107. Let's change this to James G. Okay, now hit save, and there we have it. The data is already been saved into your database. So uh, going forward, these videos will, uh, in my next video, I'm going to be talking to you about uh, how to uh, work with uh, stored procedures. So uh, come back for that, for that video as well. Thank you.